It is time for a quick break. Cameron's on deck with your full forecast. But first, here's a look at your current conditions in your area. And now your weather with Chief Meteorologist Cameron Moreland, featuring the three degree guarantee. Sponsored by Capital Credit Union. Most days this month have had high temperatures up into the 80s. Today was not one of those days. We had mid to upper 70s across most of the area. However, northeast winds did keep it just a little bit cooler near the shoreline of Lake Michigan. And tomorrow it looks like almost a repeat performance. Just another great day on the way. A couple of degrees warmer than what we saw this afternoon with upper 70s to around 80. Lower 80s return on Friday. We'll see 80s over the weekend and then upper 80s to perhaps lower 90s as we make our way into next week. Along with highs in the 70s, we had lots of sunshine and Today was not our fourth straight day with thunderstorms moving through during the afternoon or early evening. There are some thunderstorms out there, but they're all on the other side of Lake Michigan. We've got high pressure now building in from the north. It'll be our main weather maker as we head throughout the night and into tomorrow. And this is a Canadian area of high pressure. So with clear skies tonight, well north of Green Bay, it's going to be chilly. Many spots will get down into the 40s, especially right along the UP border. Underneath that ridge of high pressure today, you can see the cool down. 66 degrees in Marquette, 76 for a high in Green Bay. It was 78 in the Twin Cities. Off to the west, the heat is building once again. We've got 80s and 90s, and that heat is going to start to track eastward here as we make our way towards the weekend, through the weekend, and into next week. So tomorrow, look for just fantastic conditions, really just a picture perfect day sunshine mixing with a few fair weather stratocumulus clouds from time to time the normal high temperature is 81 degrees most of us will see temperatures in the upper 70s the heat will start to build after that and then it looks like as we head into next week there is going to be a large dome of heat and humidity anchored right across the central part of the country we're going to be kind of on the eastern edge of it which means temperatures will be above normal but not way above normal like some computer forecast models have been showing over the last few days, but obviously the forecast can always change. So there's still a chance that some of this more significant heat could push in to Wisconsin by the time we get to the middle part of next week. Now, speaking of significant heat, take a look at this fact. Tomorrow marks the 27th anniversary of the last time the temperature hit 100 degrees in Green Bay. Can you believe it? It's been that long. You have to go back to July 14th, 1995 to find the last day that it got over 100 degrees in Town. Tonight, many locations will be about half that number, upper 40s to lower 50s north and west of the Fox Valley. Most of us will see lower to mid 50s with clear skies and of course that full thunder moon. Tomorrow, mostly sunny and just beautiful. High temperatures will be in the upper 70s. We've had dew points in the 60s the last couple of days. Today, those dew points dropping down mainly in the 50s. Tomorrow, another very comfortable day as well with dew points in the 40s and 50s. My three degree guarantee for tomorrow is 79. If I can hit that high within three degrees, we will donate $100 to Lucky 7 Dog Rescue. And we did that today. I forecast 76. The high temperature was 76 degrees. As we move into Friday, sun and clouds, a chance for a thunderstorm, a better chance for some on and off showers and thunderstorms Saturday and Sunday as we heat up and then upper 80s to lower 90s for Monday and Tuesday with the chance for a few hit or miss showers or thunderstorms. Still ahead here at five after a long game last night, the Brewers are